morning and welcome to our Mass. We continue today to uh, think about St John the Baptist. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. When the Lord comes, he will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purpose of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us confess our sins. Almighty God, our Amen. Heavenly Father, Amen. we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who at your first coming sent your messenger to prepare your way before you. Grant that the ministers and stewards of your mysteries may likewise so prepare and make ready your way by turning the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, that at your second coming to judge the world we may be found an acceptable people in your sight. For you alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light. Now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that on the last day, when, he'll she, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal, through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Isaiah chapter 45. I am the Lord and there is no other. I form light and create darkness. I make will and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Shower, O heavens, from above, and let the skies rain down righteousness. Let the earth open, that salvation may spring up, and let it cause righteousness to sprout up also. I, the Lord, have created it. For thus says the Lord, who created the heavens, he is God, who formed the earth and made it. He established it. He did not create it a chaos. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no other God besides me, a righteous God and a saviour. There is no one besides me. Turn to me and be saved all the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is no other. By myself I have sworn, for my mouth has gone forth in righteousness, a word that shall not return. To me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Only in the Lord it shall be said of me, our righteousness and strength. All who were incensed against him shall come to him and be ashamed. In the Lord all the offspring of Israel shall triumph and glory. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The response to the psalm is, Show us, O Lord, your mercy. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what the Lord God will say, for he shall speak peace to his people and to the faithful, that they turn not again to folly. Truly, his salvation is near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Show, Show us, O Lord, Lord, your mercy. mercy. Truth shall spring up from the earth and righteousness look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give all that is good and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him and direct his steps in the way. Show, Show us, us, O Lord, Lord your, your mercy. mercy. Alleluia, alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, you o, Lord. o Lord. John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? When the men had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? Jesus had just then cured many people of diseases, plagues and evil spirits, and had given sight to many who were blind. And he answered them, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have good news brought to them, and blessed is anyone who takes no offence at me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you O, o Christ. Christ. Are you the one who is to come, or do we look for another? When I was at college, there was a fellow student who was having a very hard time of it. He was questioning his vocation, and the Lord seemed very far from him. And when he was selected to lead the intercessions at the College Eucharist, he stood up in his place and he cried out, Oh God, what do you think you're playing at? Then he sat down and said nothing more. We understood what he was going through. We knew how he felt. And his prayers spoke what is so often a hidden truth. Sometimes we all doubt, we all have questions, especially when we are in pain, physical, mental or spiritual. John the Baptist was suffering. He'd been locked up in a dark cell by an evil king. He sent two of his disciples to Jesus and asked if he indeed was the one who is to come. Darkness, pain, suffering and turmoil can do that to us. It can make us, make us doubt a lot of things which we once took for granted. John was experiencing one of the worst moments of his life and he was having second thoughts. He doubted himself. He doubted his ministry. He doubted the Lord. 
After all, his, his life had once been so much easier. It had been so much better while he was in the desert wearing sackcloth and eating locusts and wild honey. Now in prison, in solitary confinement, in filth and dampness that filled him with the fear of being forgotten and abandoned. Physical loneliness can make us question everything. Mental loneliness can make life unbearable. That's why John needed to know, he needed the affirmation. That's why he needed to ask, is this suffering worthwhile? Are you the one? We all meet people like that who question, who doubt, who wonder. Perhaps even we have been in that position. Now Jesus didn't answer John's question directly. Instead, he pointed to the things that were happening that the disciples who John had sent could see for themselves. The blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the good news is preached to the poor. He offered not just words, but tangible evidence to show who he was and who he is. So when the questions arise, arise in your hearts, if doubts begin to creep in, be strengthened and be encouraged by the Lord's answer to John. Look around you, look at the world and see what the Lord is doing today. The caring, the loving, the healing, the serving, the worshipping, the whole ministry of the church, the whole ministry of all of Jesus's followers. I remember the Anglican monk and theologian Harry Williams once said, doubts are the building blocks of faith. So trust in God, open your hearts to him in all circumstances, raise your voice and tell the good news. Behold, the Lord comes with power and know this, he comes to you. And my fellow student, the Lord gave him the strength and the comfort and the reassurance that he needed. He was ordained and he continued his life of service. And now let us pray. Let us pray to God, the source of all light and life. Send your Holy Spirit upon the church, that we may be bold to declare the gospel to all nations and to all peoples. Give to your people the prophetic voice that brings knowledge of salvation through Jesus Christ. Dispel all doubts and fears. Strengthen us all. Give us the reassurance that sometimes we need. And enable us to be your people in your world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Restore to new life the places that human sin and folly have made desolate. Guide into the true light of repentance those who work wrath and destruction. Lead all nations to be one in the name of Jesus Christ. And so we pray for the peace of the world. We remember those who work for peace, whose whole lives are dedicated to reconciliation and bringing different peoples together. And so we ask your blessing, Lord, upon the United Nations as it seeks in its way to unite the world. Lord, hear us. 
Lord, Lord graciously hear us. us. Make us your messengers among our friends and neighbours and with all with whom we share our lives. Bless to a rich harvest all the signs of hope and growth that are in our community that we can see as we look at the world. Guide your church in doing the work of Christ today. And so we pray for the church, we pray for our bishops, Peter, especially in his illness, Ruth, as she takes on extra responsibilities, and Jonathan, the assistant bishop. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. Bring freedom to those who are unjustly in captivity and those who are imprisoned in their own despair. Comfort and raise up to new life those whose hearts are broken by sorrow. We pray for the sick and the suffering, especially those whom we know and those who need our prayers. We pray for those who mourn, and those who are bereaved. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. We give thanks for all who have heard the message of salvation and passed from this world into the full knowledge of Christ. Keep us constant in faith until we too shall come to him. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. We pray confident in the grace of baptism and led by the light of Christ. Merciful Father, accept, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. In the tender mercy of our God, the day spring from on high shall break upon us, to give light to those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to our Lord God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise, Almighty God and Everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son. For when he humbled himself to come among us in human flesh, he fulfilled the plan you formed before the foundation of the world to open for us the way of salvation. Confident that your promises will be fulfilled, we now watch for the day when Christ our Lord will come again in glory. And so we join our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven to proclaim your glory, forever praising you and saying, 
holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, the broken bread and wine outpoured, may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had suffered with his friends. And taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which he shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms and bring us with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St John our patron, St John the Baptist and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven, through Christ and with Christ and in Christ. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body. Because, because we, we all share in one bread. bread. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sin of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy to receive you, but only say the word, 
and and I I shall be healed. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O Lord, for these heavenly gifts. Kindle in us the fire of your spirit, that when your Christ comes, we may shine as lights before his face, who is alive and reigns now and for ever. Amen. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you. Scatter the darkness from before your path and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Mass is over. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us today.